Okay, I'd like to go through this traveling wave problem, the superposition problem, for you one more time. So here I've got two traveling waves. I've got one traveling to the right, from the left to the right at one meter per second, and another traveling from the right to the left at one meter per second. All right. Um, in this problem, what I'd like to do is I'd like to see what the superposition of these two wave pulses is when this point here, this tip, is at the same position as, say, this tip here, this point. We'll call that one A, and we'll look at it over here. And um, maybe at this point here, uh, we'll call this one B, the point where um, the point where this uh, where this wave is zero. Okay. Um, what we'd like to find for each one of these is um, the time t where the time t where this point here is at this point here. Where um, so let I've got called that a and b. Let's call this um, zero. Where zero is at a, or where zero is at b, and then we also want to draw the superposition. We want to draw the superposition where this guy here is on top of that guy there. What does the wave look like? All right. Um, so we've got uh, we've got these two things to do here. Uh, we'll call this one meter, or one second, excuse me, and we'll call this one meter. So, actually, no, this is x, so this is meters as well. So we've got meters by meters. Um, one square meter on each one of these guys. So to actually get this here, at this point, we use kinematics. Um, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to use, um, we're going to find the average position, because they're moving at the same rate. Uh, it would be a very interesting kinematics problem, for you at least, to go ahead and find where, find out how to find the position if you have different velocities, different speeds, different wave speeds. Um, at this point, it's, it's not really interesting. You, you, you've, got a, you've got enough kinematics in this problem already. I don't think we need to add any more. And that just adds another layer of complication. Um, so before we find the um, time, we're going to have to find x. Um, okay, that's a little. Can I move this down? We're going to have to find the um, position x a where these two things meet. All right, and that's just going to be the average position, which means we're going to have to find what what these positions are in the first place. Um, so at t equals zero here, right? Um, our A, our point A, is at 7 meters. All right. And our point B, um, right here, is at 5 meters. And then our, um, our tip here is at 15 meters. Okay, so we can use, we can use these, these positions to find the um, position where they cross. Again, because these speeds are the same, that's just going to be the average position at t from t equals zero. So we can say, all right, that's 15 meters here. And for a, that's seven meters. So plus seven meters over two. Um, this guy's 20, what, 22 meters over two, which is 11 meters, simple enough. Then we can find the um, time by saying, okay, this guy is going to get to 11 meters, right? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's going to get, the tip of this guy is going to be right here. Um, how long is it going to take him to go from 15 meters to 11 meters? From 15 meters to 11 meters. Um, well, that's 15 meters minus 11 meters. He's moving at one meter per second over one meter per second is equal to um, four meters over one meter per second, which is just four seconds. 
Okay, so that's the first part of that problem. The second part is drawing these. Now, we know what part of each of these waves has to be along, has to be at 11 meters. So we can just replicate those, these shapes from there. So we've got this um, funny looking one here with the wedge and the rectangular back. Uh, the wedge goes over two, up two, and then flattens out for four and then drops down. So over two and up two. So I'm just going to draw in these dotted lines um, here. One, two, three, four. So dotted lines here for our funny shape here. And for this triangle shape here, A has to be at minus two here. So right here it's at minus two. And um, it goes up at the same um, slope as this thing. So dash, 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 dash. Um, it goes over to up to again, over to up to dash, dash, dash dash, dash, dash. So these are our two waves at that time before we add them up. So to get the superposition, we add the two waves. So, but right now we've just moved this guy over here. So it was here and he comes over here. This guy was here and he comes over here. All right, now we add them up. Uh, first, I'm just going to add up each of these places where one of these waveforms is zero. So this waveform is zero anywhere above, before, and after, after this dashed line. So here, I can just put in some solid line there for, for our wave. Here, I can put the solid line along, I put the solid line along the dotted line like that. All right, and after this, there's nothing else, so I can put a solid line there as well. All right, uh, here and before, there's no dotted line. There's only dashed line, so I can cover up the dashed line with a big solid line. Um, and that gives us most of what we need. Um, here, we've got two straight lines. There's nothing interesting going on. They've got, a, they've got a simple slope. Just connect from here to here. So it's going to connect from here to here with twice the slope as either of these lines, which, which both have the same slope. Okay, and that is what that waveform looks like, okay? Uh, now we can repeat ourselves with part B. To repeat ourselves with part B, first we have to find the position, right? Uh, at, this, at this point we have 15 meters again for the original position of this guy, and we have five meters for the other one. So their average position is going to be um, 20 meters over 2 meters or at 10 meters. Um, and that's just coming straight down here. Uh, it should be straight down here. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I did that right. Aren't I happy? And so this is the point there where this tip is um, when, it, when it meets this. All right. So the time now is, we find it the same way, 15 minus 10 this time, 15 meters minus 10 meters over one meter per second is five seconds. So that's the first part of that, of that problem. Coming down here, we can make our um, waveforms again, our shapes, the pulse shapes. So we make one pulse shape here for our oblong box, and then we can make a dashed line again um, here. There's no reason for dashes and dots other than it helps, it helps me distinguish them. Um, and you could possibly do this in your brain, which you probably have done. You probably did that in class. I definitely did that in class. And, in fact, part of the reason why I figured out how to do this was because I didn't like doing that in class. So, so we just draw these and we do the same procedure. There's nothing out here and nothing out here for either of those waves. So obviously we have a um, flat line there. Uh, there's no dashed line here, so we follow the dots like that. Uh, there's no dotted line here, so we follow the dashes like so. 
Uh, now we have these two guys coming along here. Now we'll notice that for every one that this goes up here, one this one goes down there. So actually, from here to here, these two waveforms cancel completely. So they've canceled completely here. Uh, now this one's stable, so it's not going to do anything, but this one's rising. So we should have a line here that's parallel to this one, just like that. And that and that's actually our waveform. So this one's completely parallel to this one, and it brings us back up to there. And so we get get our waveform at t equals five seconds from um, from this guy here. So that is some simple superposition. Um, I hope you have a good evening, and I will see you on Friday.